This is the place where you just get turbocharged by these AIs. They're not perfect, they make mistakes, and so you really need to make sure that you know the work is being done to your level of expectation. But I think that it is fundamentally about amplifying what every person is able to do. OpenAI's GPT-4 finally gets images. Technology is improving day by day. Most of the work done by humans is now done by AI. Today, we are going to discuss the topic, OpenAI's GPT-4 finally gets images. So before diving into the topic, let me ask you a question. What is GPT-4? GPT-4 is the most recent version of OpenAI's large language model systems, LLM. Language model systems in general are systems that intelligently add their inputs to a phrase while attempting to predict the next word. They accomplish this by looking at a sizable data set that enables them to spot patterns and take appropriate action. The most recent model in this series, GPT-4, is anticipated to be a significant improvement over GPT-3 and 3.5. We will go into more detail about these later, but there are several specific things GPT-4 excels at. This new paradigm will enable chatbots like ChatGPT and MS Bing to be considerably more capable in their responses, which is a straightforward point you should comprehend. As a result, you may anticipate that they would respond to older and newer ChatGPT prompts differently, provide better responses, and design with more originality. As the latest milestone in its effort to scale up deep learning, OpenAI has unveiled GPT-4, a potent new AI model that can comprehend both text and images. Even though everyone adored GPT-3 and GPT-3.5, some wished it could understand even lengthier inputs. GPT-4's introduction has addressed the issue. With a mind-boggling 25,000-word input limit, the new GPT-4 AI language model has a very high threshold. OpenAI's paying customers can currently utilize GPT-4 through ChatGPT+, with a usage limit, and developers can join a waitlist to gain access to the API. The cost is 3 cents per 1,000 prompt tokens, which are roughly 750 words, and 6 cents for 1,000 completion tokens, which are also roughly 750 words. Tokens represent raw text. For instance, the word fantastic would be broken up into the tokens fan, tas, and tick. The bits of words that are input into GPT-4 are known as prompt tokens, and the material that GPT-4 produces is known as completion tokens. It turns out that GPT-4 has been hiding in plain sight. Microsoft has revealed that the GPT-4 platform is used by Bing Chat, a chatbot system it co-developed with OpenAI. English speakers all over the world have primarily used ChatGPT. GPT-4, however, takes into account other languages. The most recent version has been shown to support over 26 distinct languages. This covers many languages, such as Ukrainian, Korean, Germanic, and others. The MMLU benchmarks were translated into a number of languages by OpenAI to test the same. GPT-4 performs better than GPT-3.5's English language performance in 24 out of the 26 languages tested. However, more training data must be done until GPT-4 fully supports all languages. Stripe is an early user using GPT-4 to scan business websites and send a summary to customer care workers. GPT-4 was integrated into a new subscription tier for language learning by Duolingo. Morgan Stanley is developing a GPT-4-powered system to retrieve information from corporate documents and provide it to financial analysts. Additionally, Khan Academy is using GPT-4 to create an automated instructor. In comparison to GPT-3.5, which could only accept text inputs, GPT-4 can create text and accept both text and image inputs. It also performs at a human level on a variety of academic and professional benchmarks. For instance, GPT-4 successfully completed a mock bar exam with a score in the top 10% of test takers. But GPT-3.5 received a score in the bottom 
According to the business, OpenAI spent six months iteratively aligning GPT-4 utilizing lessons from ChatGPT and an internal adversarial testing program. This process produced best-ever results on factuality, steerability, and refusing to cross guardrails. Similar to earlier GPT models, GPT-4 was trained using data that was both publicly accessible and licensed by OpenAI. GPT-4 was trained using a supercomputer that OpenAI and Microsoft built from the ground up on the Azure cloud. In a blog post announcing GPT-4, OpenAI stated that the differences between GPT-3.5 and GPT-4 can be subtle in casual conversation. When the task's complexity reaches a certain threshold, the difference emerges. GPT-4 is more dependable, inventive, and able to handle much more nuanced instructions than GPT-3.5. Without question, GPT-4's capacity to comprehend both text and visuals is one of its more intriguing features. GPT-4 can caption and even decipher very complex photos, such as recognizing a lightning cable converter from a picture of an iPhone that is connected to it. GPT-4 is capable of both creating images and understanding and interpreting them. Currently, not all OpenAI clients can use the picture understanding feature. Instead, OpenAI is testing it first with just one partner, Be My Eyes. Be My Eyes' new virtual volunteer feature, which is powered by GPT-4, can respond to inquiries regarding photographs given to it. In a blog post, the business describes how it functions. For instance, if a user sends a picture of the contents of their refrigerator, the virtual volunteer will not only be able to identify the items accurately, but will also be able to extrapolate and analyze what might be made using those components. The application can then give a step-by-step -step instruction sheet along with many recipes for those ingredients. The steerability above tooling could potentially be a more significant improvement in GPT-4. Developers can specify style and task by expressing precise instructions using the new System Messages API feature that OpenAI is implementing with GPT-4. System Messages, which will eventually be added to GPT-4, are directives that determine the parameters and tone for the AI's subsequent interactions. For instance, a system message might say, you are a tutor who consistently replies in the Socratic manner. Never provide the student with the solution. Instead, always make an effort to pose the ideal query to encourage independent thought. You should always adapt your question to the student's expertise and area of interest by breaking it down into simpler components until it is at the perfect level for them. OpenAI admits that GPT-4 is far from ideal, even with system messages and other changes. It still hallucinates things and commits logical mistakes, occasionally with a lot of conviction. A clear error was made by GPT-4 when it referred to Elvis Presley as the son of an actor in one of the examples provided by OpenAI. It occasionally exhibits simple reasoning flaws that do not seem to be consistent with its proficiency in so many other areas, or it may be unduly trusting when accepting fraudulent claims from a user. According to the business, GPT-4 is 29% more likely to react to sensitive requests such as those for medical advice and information about self-harm in accordance with OpenAI's policies, and is 82% less likely overall to answer to requests for disallowed content than GPT-3.5. Clearly, there is a lot to learn about GPT-4. However, OpenAI is moving forward at full speed, clearly confident in its improvements. We anticipate that GPT-4 will power several applications and be a useful tool for enhancing people's lives, according to a statement from OpenAI. There is still a lot of work to be done, and we are looking forward to the community's combined efforts in investigating, building upon, and developing this concept. Like any technology development, the picture capabilities of GPT-4 bring up significant ethical questions. There are worries about the possible exploitation of AI-generated imagery for deepfakes and false information. OpenAI emphasizes the necessity for responsible usage and governance of the technology while acknowledging these difficulties. To guarantee the proper deployment of AI models like GPT-4, 
stricter ethical rules and safeguards must be put in place. A big advance in the creation of AI language models has been made with the inclusion of image capabilities in GPT-4. This development creates new opportunities for innovation and cooperation between artificial intelligence and human ingenuity. We may anticipate more improvements in GPT-4's image creation and comprehension abilities as it develops, which will eventually make the connection between language and visual data more seamless.